This is a tutorial for how to set up an assembly project on Visual Studios Community 2015. So all you got to do is uh, get the program, obviously. You can do a quick Google search, and uh, here it is. Just click there and download it. I'm sure you're more than capable to doing that on your own. And um, so once you get that installed, go ahead and click on it. So we're going to create a new project, so go to new project. Okay, we're going to go to Visual C++ and to Win32. And uh, when you first download Visual Studios, you're not going to see this here. It's going to say something like install Win32 package or something like that. So just click on it and follow the instructions and um, get it installed and you'll see this here on the screen. So yeah, we're going to go to Win32 console application, just click on it and you can call this whatever you like. I'm going to call it new assembly projects. All right. And I have this saved um, under my C drive in my computer. I, if you want, you could do that too. So I'm going to click OK. Next. Uh, click Empty Project and unclick the security feature here. Then click Finish. All right, so we're creating new project. So go here, right click on source files, then add new item. Call this, call it whatever you want. Let me call it my first assembly project. You can call it whatever you want, but after you call it, you type dot asm then click add okay once the once that's done uh go to go to your project name right click go down to build dependencies build customizations check masm press ok then go to your project dot asm file Right click, go down to properties, okay, um, click there and uh, select Microsoft Assembler and here click now there press ok so there you go you have it now I have this little template down here um, uh, I can put it in the in the description here but I just you know I, I can just copy that paste it on here you got your template and now you can begin making programs writing code for example um, Type in like move ex8. So it's gonna move the value of 8 into the register ex. And uh, if you wanna see that in action, go to, uh, oh, set a breakpoint here. Go to start debugging. Uh, one thing I should also point out is uh, when you first do this, you're not going to see these windows. These windows will be 
not there and so if you want to see those windows just go over to uh, debug windows registers uh, I usually right click and click flags too because I want to see the flags once you get into assembly you'll know what all this stuff is but I'm just trying to set you up okay and you want to see the memory window too and once again you went to debug windows uh, memory there's different uh, and I click the first one okay so so okay the breakpoint is right here and what I what this does it simply moves the value of 8 into the EX register so you'll see this value change to 8 once I step over see 8 and there you go you just created your first assembly project your very first instruction here and uh, that's pretty much how you get set up. In another video, I'll be showing how to set up an assembly project using the Irvine 32-bit library.